Hello Taurus, it's my lady from Ladies Way Tarot and I'm coming to do your weekly love reading for October 16th through the 22nd, 2017. The cards I am using are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish and I closed off with my Miss Cleo cards. I like to read those straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. Okay, well, I don't know what's going on here. But so maybe we got some secrets going on with exes. I could have swore I seen more than just that. All right, so somebody might be secretly seeing their ex. Or the ex that they trying to see is up to no good. All right, I wanted to thank everybody for like, sharing, subscribing, and setting up personal readings. If you would like a personal reading, check in the description box below. Email me and we can set something up. Other than that, let's get this show on the road. What's going on with the Taurus? Taurus, Taurus. Okay, so... Ooh, okay, so Taurus, um, I feel like somebody has a third party going on and it's um, lowering your self-esteem. Like when you found it out, it just made you like everything good in a person. It turned into everything bad in the person for you, okay? You turned it from a good person to a bad. All right, Taurus, 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 love reading October. 16th or 22nd 2017 mm, okay so feel like somebody was supposed to move in together but it didn't happen okay yeah there it is yep yeah somebody was supposed to move in together but it didn't happen it's that third party situation and it pissed you off yeah I don't know why I'm real shaky right now I don't know all right, yeah, so uh, it seems like you may have left the relationship or, um, yeah, somebody left the relationship. Um, since it's you, you're reading, I'm going to just read it as you, okay? But as general, it can be either way. So it seems like somebody was just sick of being loved and not being loved. Loved and not being loved. Somebody just in and out, you know, in and out of love, in and out of your life. You know, somebody was just sick of it. Taurus, you're sick. So it seems like this person may try to look down at you because you they make more money than you. But it seems like the person that wants freedom is the one with the least money. Okay. Alright, so yeah, this in and out situation just started becoming emotionally draining and you couldn't take it. You can't take it anymore. I had enough. Okay, so um, you're sick of the in and out and you're sick of this person treating you like that you wasn't nothing. You wasn't there. Like they didn't want you to touch them. Like you don't want me to touch you. Why are you, why are you in my life, you know? All right. So, yeah, I'm really feeling strong work situations. Or some of you might have lost your job because of this situation. The emotional like roller coaster. Okay, but it seems like um, the people that were at your job or are at your job, they're trying to protect you and help you feel better after this person like sort of beat you down or yeah, or vice versa. Could be either way. Okay, yeah. But it seems like they're um, acting like they don't want you as a form of manipulation to get you to let them come back whenever they want to. Yeah, and oh, okay, so it seems like they're trying to make you um, do some kind of sacrifice, but I feel like you're more hesitant than saying no. And this probably has something to do with moving. So this could be you wanting them to make a sacrifice and let you come in and get rid of all that other stuff. But uh, this is, it's not going down. Somebody is not moving. All right, what's going on for the Taurus, Taurus, Taurus? Taurus love reading, Taurus love reading, October 16th. Oh, Jesus. Here we go again. All right, so it seems like somebody probably, I feel like somebody saved up all the money to move. Or maybe it could be a trip, I guess. 
somebody saved up all the money for a trip and then I feel like somebody is like, I'm not, you're not going now. Okay. All right, what's going on with the Taurus love getting October 16th through the 27th? October 16th through the 22nd. Oh, geez, your cars. Why? <laughs> okay. All right, so of uh, secrets, of course. All right. Taurus, 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 Taurus. Love reading. October 16th through the 27th. 22nd, 22nd, 27 keep showing up or coming out for some reason. Maybe this means something to you. All right, yeah, so. Mm, yeah, this makes me feel like somebody may be getting back to with or going to do something that they separated from. So this could be a job, this could be, I'm saying love. Somebody's trying to come back. So I think this person who left is trying to come back now and I feel like, it might be because of a trip that you guys are supposed to go on. All right. So it seems like you probably could be messing with a, a fire sign. But it's general reading. It could be anything. But it seems like somebody who just used to getting everything. Used to getting every everything that they want. Just like waiting for you to do what you always say you're going to do. Which is things for them. Yeah. But it feel, seems like they wait for you to pay or whatever. But it seems like you don't want to fight no more. Like your defenses are down right now. So it seems like you might be vulnerable to this person once again. Okay, it looks like you may end up losing a lot of money in this situation. So this could be you not going on a trip losing money. Or this could be... Um, you taking this person on this trip and and spending a lot of money but if you do that they are going to leave as soon as you get back i can see it but let's do this to a staff two of staffs all right the two of staffs is reversed it says surprise unexpected outcome and fearful anticipation then you have the king of staffs and it says a strong, honest person who is not afraid to lead. This person can listen and advise wisely. So it's like somebody might be telling you, hey, let your guards down. You know, th this is nothing to be fighting over, but you want to do what you want to do. All right, so we got the nine of staffs reversed. The result product of lack of planning movement will be painful and draining uh, with little or no time to rest. I'm really feeling like somebody was linked into maybe apartment. Somebody was trying to get an apartment with somebody and then it didn't work. Or somebody was trying to go on a trip and then the relationship didn't work out, you know? And it's like, I feel like you should have known this person character enough. I feel like that's what this card is saying. Like, you should have known this person enough to not uh, let them sign the papers, get into the paperwork with you. Or give up your stuff to go be with this person. Mm. So I just heard they want it all to themselves. So maybe they even trying to uh, kick you to the curb and bring their ex back, you know, in the place that your name on. All right. So we got the Ace of Coins reverse. It said this cards indicate negative influence on money and inaccurate information. Uh, now is the time to start new projects and move forward. So it's basically like out with the old and with the new. It's like, yeah, you're going to have to drop this situation and move on. But that's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. If you're on a personal reading, check in the description box below. Email me and we can set something up. Other than that, have a great week.